you guys, happy Friday! I definitely don't have an intro planned! Geeks of the Week! So Steph's still having Japan fun and she'll eventually come home, I think. Jake, I'm glad you had a fun con experience and serious congrats on the cosplay award that's friggin' awesome. And Luluko kind of put into more specific terms what I mentioned about not liking in Age of Ultron. I liked that they fleshed out Natasha a bit more, but I didn't really like that they did it with a romantic subplot, especially to a character that she kind of had the least interaction with out of the whole group. It really caught me off guard. Like, if, if you're really stuck on the romantic subplot thing, at least bring Bucky back for it, because that's actually a canon relationship. Or hey, Matt Murdock, he exists now and he's awesome. The only thing I don't really agree with Lulu on is the struggling to call Joss a feminist after that, because I know his background and I know how strong of a proponent he is for well-written female characters and women in general. As much as Natasha did fall into a weird hole, Bruce was right along with her for the ride. Except in the end, while Bruce ran away still thinking he was a monster that shouldn't be near people, Natasha basically resolved to continue being a badass and kind of accepted the fact that she is a good guy helping to rebuild the new Avengers team. So at least there's that. Mario also gave his Age of Ultron review and it seems like we're all pretty much in consensus that Although there were definitely some things we didn't really care for, it was overall a really solid movie. Although after watching it a second time, I have realized that there aren't nearly as many, like, memorably quotable moments as there were in the first one. Nothing like, Doth Mother know you weareth her drapes? Alright, enough Avengers talk for now, but I will stick to Marvel stuff because, holy crap, the cast of Civil War. I feel like it's everyone and a kitchen sink. Pardon me if I forget any names, but I'm gonna attempt to do this from memory. Obviously, we were gonna have Cat, Bucky, Tony, Natasha, Clint, Sam, and Rhodey. But now we're also getting Vision, Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Black Panther, Crossbones, Baron Zemo, General Thaddeus from Hulk, Sharon Carter from S.H.I.E.L.D., and whoever the hell Martin Freeman's gonna be. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of offended that I'm not cast in the movie. How is this not Avengers 3? Like, what the hell? I can't even imagine the madness that this movie is gonna be. All the luck in the world to the Russos on that directing adventure. They rocked Winter Soldier, so... Mm. Although, can I say how stoked I am about Black Panther, even if he's just like the tiniest part? Because I think I was the only one in our entire theater that had a little freak out when they brought in Wakanda to Age of Ultron. Alright, moving on to TV stuff. EW made the announcement of ABC show cancellations and renewals, and I am so excited. Agent Carter is coming back for a second season. Absolutely loved the first season. It was way stronger than S.H.I.E.L.D.'s first season, and I was gonna be really upset if it didn't get picked back up. Which, S.H.I.E.L.D. is also coming back for a third season. And even though they're not necessarily nerdy, I'm really excited about Castle and How to Get Away with Murder coming back. And on the comedy front, Gallivant! I kind of assumed it was coming back, but I am really happy that it's official because that little nugget of musical magic was glorious and ridiculous and weird and just everything good in the world. And something I somehow didn't know about or had forgotten about now that I'm thinking about it, Teen Titans live-action show on TNT called Titans? I feel like I vaguely heard something about it at some point, but I think I just thought it was a rumor, but they just released a teaser photo of Nightwing. I think it's just a concept photo because I don't think any official casting announcements have been made, but apparently it's coming this fall. And like, mild spoiler for Arrow, I guess, but nothing really substantial, with uh, Roy Harper leaving Arrow for at least the time being, maybe he'll be able to make an appearance? I mean, Supergirl finally got officially greenlit a couple days ago, and they seem to be planning some crossovers there, even though that show's on CBS. So I feel like we're gonna have like a three-network crossover DC thing happening. So many things happening in the TV and movie world for the nerd community. What what are you guys most excited for? Personally, I think I'm most looking forward to that call from the Civil War casting agent, so I hope everyone else has an awesome weekend, stay geeky, and we will see you next week. I was gonna leave cosplay completely out of this video, but I am working on my Tariel daggers, and I'm really excited about it, so...